How are we doing guys? Today we're going to talk about how to set up shipment tracking plugin in your WooCommerce store. So for a lot of you, you might have customers reaching out like, can you provide a tracking number or how can I know that my order was shipped? Maybe the order was completed, but they don't have any way to track their shipment. So the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin is a great way to do this and it integrates with Shipping Easy or ShipStation if you're using those tools to ship out any of your products. So the first step is to download, purchase, and activate this plugin on your WooCommerce dashboard. So I'm just gonna go to a demo site I have set up. I'm gonna go to plugins, add new. And I'm gonna upload the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin. I'm gonna activate the plugin. And now if I go to uh, my orders page, I can see that this shipment tracking column has been added. So if I wanna go into a recent order, this is for Kirk Cousins, and I wanna add a tracking number, I can add the tracking number here. And I can s select, you know, go down to the United States, UPS, or I can go USPS. And I can just enter in a tracking number and let's just say this is a demo tracking number. And if I save this and I update the order, if I click this link, you know, my customer Kirk will be able to track his order. This is just a demo, so that's what you see. But if I update this order status from processing to completed, The customer now will see receive an automated email notification that their order is now complete and they'll have the option to track their order in their um, order confirmation or order um, completed email confirmation so they can click track and they'll be able to see the status on um, one of their carriers whether it's UPS, USPS, DHL. Um, there's a lot of carriers that the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin supports and um, it's just a great way to integrate with shop or with shipping easy or ship station or if you are doing shipment on your own it's just an easy way to provide your customers in um, a shipment tracking number that they can track when their order is going to be received um, now to take this a step further if i'm going to log into let's just say i'm going to log into an incognito window and I am going to mimic my customer, Kirk Cousins. That was just a test order I set up. So if I log into my account, so I'm in my account, and if I go to my orders page, so the order status is completed, right? But I would wanna add a track shipment link here. I think that's easiest for my customers especially as they get more and more orders and they're going to their My Account pages, to be able to add the track shipment link on the orders page without having them have to click into the individual order page. So you might be asking, how can we do this? How can we set this up? Um, this is a little bit more advanced, maybe for the developers out there or the people that are feeling fearless um, to add this into their site. So if I wanna add the track shipment link here, um, I'm gonna have to do a couple things. I'm gonna have to open up FileZilla, the FTP client we're gonna be using. I'm just gonna connect to our site. I'm gonna go into my WP content folder, go into the themes folder, and storefront. I actually wanna edit this orders page for my customers. So to do that, if you notice, I don't have, I need to copy the WooCommerce um, theme file for the orders.php file over to my, to my theme. So I'm gonna go back and go to plugins. I have WooCommerce, templates, my account, and it's gonna be this orders page right here. So I'm just gonna download this orders page. This is the file I'm gonna override on my, on my theme. And now if I go back to 
to my theme and I'm gonna create a new deck directory WooCommerce this is gonna override WooCommerce I want to create um, my account and I want to create this orders file I'm gonna upload it because I'm gonna overwrite the generic orders file for WooCommerce. So I'm gonna open up this file. And I'm gonna open up Sublime Text and I scroll down to this order status section. So the section right here, it's gonna be in, starting on line 54. So order status section and I'm gonna paste this snippet in so again, right now, if I refresh this, all I'm seeing is just order status completed. But I want to put the track shipment link there. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to paste this snippet I have right here, de-update the order status. And I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to upload the file back to my server. And now, when I refresh the page, I have this track shipment link for my customer to click and it's going to open up a new tab and be able to track their order. So we went through two methods about how to track a shipment um, for your customers. You could do it so on the like the order is completed or your order is shipped email confirmation, they're going to automatically receive that just by using this um, track shipment plugin. But you also could customize this so on their orders page in their WooCommerce customer dashboard they can easily click to track their shipment now this was modifying the orders.php file that's in um, WooCommerce my account orders.php I will put the snippet and the link to how you can download and use this snippet in the post below where I have a full text snippet of in a blog post about how to set up WooCommerce shipment tracking and I think you guys were overall get a lot out of this plugin. I think it's um, it's a really easy plugin to use and if you're someone that uses like Shipping Easy or ShipStation, it, auto it actually automatically integrates with it. So if you're exporting orders to Shipping Easy and ShipStation, orders that are like processing, um, when, it, when ShipStation you know, posts the orders back to your WooCommerce site, it'll update it to completed and automatically send out the automated email and that track shipment link will be there. So this is just a fun little way to give your customers a little bit more insight on when their order is coming and um, allow them to engage as a customer and on that customer journey. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And next time, um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, have a great day, guys.